What's going on, Toxic Gamers and Call of Duty Refugees? Today, we gotta talk about Black Ops 6. We gotta talk about Black Ops 6, and we gotta talk about Black Ops 6, okay? Because we got the Call of Duty D-Riders, okay? We got the Call of Duty Refugees in here. We got the Call of Duty Corp Masters as well, right? We got the homie Blame Truth as well on the crime scene, and the situation is looking wilder than Johnny Sins movies. Like the video if you just want a good game, man, without microtransactions, without skill-based matchmaking. Dislike the video if you want the rally. <laughs> Shout out to the homie DK. Well, it's about a week away from finally seeing some new jet gun gameplay, some next gen jet gun footage from Liberty Falls, one of the round based maps coming okay. to Black Ops 6 Zombies. I'll be live in DC getting my hands on Liberty Falls for the very first time. Hope to oh, see wow. you guys there in my live stream, of course. But I actually managed to. Hope to see you guys there on a live stream. Damn, man. I thought that you meant to say hope to see you in person or something like that. Damn, man. You, you're really gonna do us like that, DK? Come on, man. I thought we were homies, man. Like, damn, man. Like. You know how fly your subscribers are or something? But about a couple of days ago, there's also some intel drops that you guys may have missed. If you guys follow Detonated on Twitter, you probably saw a repost of them. But we got a new look at the Arsenal machine over in Terminus. Now, this is a machine that'll probably be in every single round based map moving forward for Black Ops 6. It allows you to go ahead okay. and upgrade your weapon's rarity for, I believe, uh, transfer of some salvage. And you can also go ahead and buy some ammo mods for your weapons oh, wow. as well. So obviously, at the main menu is where you can add augments to ammo mods, perks, and field upgrades. But this will be the machine where you can actually get the ammo mods from, which is really important. We also got a first look at the save and quit feature in Black Ops 6 zombies so obviously when you hit pause you go to we used to have that that was a basic feature back in the days bro what what uh, although you know what exaggeration aside this time they're adding a saving feature as well so that is, that, that is good that is good i have to say this which means that like at any time you can choose to save and quit your game and apparently the homie mr dalek jd also came out not long ago right and during his video and uh, i'm assuming he got this information from activision so activision uh you know bbc him down and gave him the information i don't know how he acquired the information but it looks like that he acquired the information from activision okay and he did say that uh and this is a good thing that even if you lose connection to your internet because prior to this uh, we heard that it's going to be always online and it still is always online so that's a massive l we talked about it and a lot of people were worried like what happens for example right like i'm on round 99 i spent all my life playing this game right and for some odd reason you know my cat jumps on my internet modem or maybe like pulls out the internet cord or, or code or cord or for some weird reason my internet dies for like a uh, two second and even if your internet dies for two seconds, well, that's it. You're gonna lose connection and there goes your game. Now, what we're hearing from the homie, Mr. Dalek JD, is that even if you lose connection, the game is gonna auto-save your progress. But apparently, the uh, you can only auto-save once. So, yeah, it's a good thing, but they're not doing it more than once. So, for example, uh, you have an internet hiccup and that happened multiple times, then you're out of luck, though. At least it's gonna cover you once. And it's a good factor. It's a good mechanic they're adding in the game, and I love that. But I really, really hope, and I really wish this for some local play as well, like offline support as well, right? At least for zombies and campaign. Campaign and zombies needs offline support. Like the video if you agree. Just like if you disagree, though. But this feature, so far, actually very good. Which means that even if you don't have an internet hiccup or not, you can always save and quit your game. And depending on, for example, you went to round 100, save and quit, and you can pick your game up, and next time you can go to round 200 and shit like that. So it's actually very good. I, I like that feature. I like so your that. gobble gun pack, your loadout, or you can go ahead and save and quit. Of course, it's only a feature for solo, and allows you to save just one match at a time on yeah, your Activision account. Now, you can't save a co-op match, and you could still go play a different match of zombies or co-op while you have another game saved, but again, you can only have one game saved at a time. I made a separate video yeah, going over this feature saved. individually in, I think, commentary like a week or so ago, but jumping into early access. I, I think they should do like three times. Thoughts, agree or disagree. The reason I I, I, I wish it was unlimited, but you know Slick is gonna abuse it, right? Slick is gonna always like pull out their ethernet cable <laughs> and all that. Yeah, you know, before they die, pull out the ethernet cable, pull out the ethernet cable, and then it's gonna autosave. So yeah, I, I get it like why they're not doing it like more than once, but I think like three times that would be best. That would be best. Now, so as of today, following the campaign gameplay reveal for the mission Most Wanted, some of us expected maybe a little mention at the very end of the gameplay panel that there could be some early access to either campaign or zombies. Now, if you guys remember when the Cold War campaign gameplay was shown several years ago, they showed a couple of minutes of one of the earlier missions. At the very end of that is when they announced the Alpha. So there was a possibility today at Gamescom that they could all blow our minds with an early access announcement. But considering COD Next is a week away, that's probably the better event to announce this at. And we'll circle back to COD maybe, Next in a maybe, second. Maybe. But in the blog post for today's campaign walkthrough, it does mention that you can play campaign for the first time on October 25th. That doesn't okay. exactly rule out the possibility they surprise us with an early access announcement. 
Uh, Black Ops... Okay, so the game is coming out on October 25th, right? So does that mean that we're not gonna have early access to campaign like we used to a week early? Or maybe they're gonna... Maybe it's too early for them to announce it. Maybe that's what it is, because in the recent years, they always drop it a week early. But that's kind of a definitive statement to kind of play devil's advocate here. Maybe that does mean we just won't see any type of early access opportunity for Black yeah, Ops 6 yeah, as yeah, far as campaign wild. goes, but don't rule out zombies just yet. Now, I'm thinking maybe there's a small possibility because of the review bombing that we saw from Modern Warfare 3's early access campaign last year, <laughs> maybe that led to some higher up saying, you know what, maybe it's not <laughs> underbaked facts, rehash facts, and cobbled together from multiplayer parts facts. Absolutely. Where are the lies? Simon spitting facts. He reviewed it on the Sony Pony 5s on the PlayStation 5. Where are the lies? Where are the lies? This game was so bad, bro. I, I believe that the, the gameplay was still. I mean, the gameplay, I mean, usually gameplays, uh, for, gameplays for Call of Duty are always good, right? What I mean by this is that the gameplays are always smooth, 60 FPS, 60 FPS, and always smooth. So that's one of those things that Call of Duty usually always gets it right. So, uh, and I've heard people saying, like, all that crap, right? But, yeah, Modern Warfare 3 should have been, like, $20, $10, maybe even $5. Or, you know what? Just drop it for free, bro. Bruh. Like, Modern Warfare 3 should have been free, bro. Like, come on now. What, what are we talking about, man? We deserve better than that, guys. Like, damn, homie. We deserve better than that, bro. Not a good idea to see some bad reviews early on because of campaign alone, which could result in some canceled pre-orders or just negative reception to even the other modes later as kind of a domino effect. So, maybe let's avoid doing campaign access and no if they really do that that tells me they're not confident because usually they do it early access with modern warfare 3 i mean they should have known better i i'm assuming they saw that coming modern warfare 3 i mean listen man like that that was just a bunch of war zone missions put together that was not a campaign damn it that was not a campaign it was one of the 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 saddest and most pathetic campaign of a game that i've ever seen it was just warzone missions essentially that's what it was with a bunch of cutscenes here and there but it was warzone it was warzone they just worked on the new warzone map and, and took maps from it cut sections from it and made the campaign and ultimately that's what they have been doing it for modern warfare games as well right recently just make one warzone map one giant map and cut sections from it make ground war maps from it normal multiplayer maps from it and, and call it a day and even make campaign from it it just sucks man and that's why and, and they wonder why people drop like flies after a month because there's no replayability everything feels old after after a while right you play warzone it's like you play the campaign you play campaign it feels like that you just played the entirety of multiplayer now i get it though uh you know some uh, if not mostly all the the multiplayer maps are taken from the the campaign but like damn can a brother get like a different warzone map uh, or can a brother perhaps not see campaign being made off of a warzone map you know, like, damn, like, damn, I get it, like, camping and multiplayer maps, similar, I get that part, but at least, like, differentiate DMZ and Warzone and all that crap, but nah, bro, like, they made Modern Warfare 2022, most advanced Call of Duty game ever, three years, 3,000 days, you know, the game that came out with the uh, friendly UAV online, yeah, that, that's the game that introduced the friendly UAV online bundle, right, to all of us, right, Bruh. we all saw that, man, it was magnificent, it was the most advanced, bundle ever they said right crazy times man so they worked on warzone 2 map right made dmz from it made multiplayer from it made campaign from it made everything from it okay shit sad bro so this time if they do the same thing it's over and by the time this game comes out four years man this game is gonna be in development for four years oh, shit. Oh, can you believe it this is why the call of duty d riders are looking like this right now this is why the call of duty refugees are like damn homie and you know the call of duty uh beta testers they're happy they're hot for this game they're like this game is gonna be the best game ever i really hope the game is actually good though like i'm joking around jokes aside though i really hope the game is good zombies wise it looks good we also have the campaign gameplay let me know your thoughts on it uh so far campaign looks odd but it just looks odd you feel what i'm saying it's not impressive yeah i saw the gameplay it doesn't look impressive man i'm just being honest man i'm just being honest and right now the campaign is uh, having people divided people are saying it looks good but nothing special that's like where i'm at too that's where i'm at because it does look good man it does look good but nothing special same goes for the multiplayer looks good but nothing special the only thing that's brand new is the omni movement and people are already crying about that people are bitching and moaning about that too understandably because nobody knows how that's gonna play out People might camp with it. People are gonna be like the TTK kids gonna go wild and all that. So it's gonna, it, it remains to be seen, remains to be seen. But all right, let's uh, get back to the content here, boo boo. And let's just launch everything at once, day one, like the old days of the franchise. That could be possible, but I'm also not going to forget that there is this really weird mention on both the PlayStation and Xbox storefronts about Black Ops 6. That apparently, the game is playable on October 17th. That's an exact week before the launch of Black Ops 6 on 25th. And if you look at campaign access for MW2 and 3 in the past couple of years, Campaign's those early access campaigns release an exact week before the launches of those games, respectively. So with that in mind, there could still be something... 
Oh man, hundred dollars. <laughs> and that's USD, right? happening in exactly Damn. a week before the full launch of Black Ops 6, and that could be what both Sony and Microsoft are referring to from those store pages, right? Keep that in mind. Let's not forget about that, especially when going into the Con Next broadcast next week, but I also want to remind you about that Windows Central rumor that came out, I think, almost a year ago now. So a rumor oh, did yeah, surface yeah, yeah, from yeah. the media here, from Windows Central yeah, yeah, specifically, yeah. that zombies apparently early. Activision was looking into providing several weeks of early access to Black Ops 6 zombies. Now, obviously, this is a very old rumor, could very easily be out of date, but does make for yeah. some pretty cool discussion. Now, is it possible they misinterpreted the Liberty Falls early access from Con Next? Probably. as this big public early access event. Maybe they just heard some bad info or it was info that was being considered at the time. Totally a possibility, but take a listen to what Codename Pizza said on his live stream just earlier today. Zombies early access? No. No. That is something that I asked. Is there zombies early access for the orders? No. That was uh, a rumor. There is no zombie. I feel like it's going to annoy some people. So with that clip in mind, it sounds like the select... Uh, to be honest, though, in a way, I'm kind of glad that it's not coming early. Either way, though, like, even if they drop it early, it's like, whatever. If you're somebody that's picking this game just for zombies, so who cares? And it doesn't really matter if it drops early or day one, right? The reason I said uh, I don't want it early is uh, because, like, if it comes out, then the mystery dies, right? The mystery dies. And, and zombies is one of those games that... Uh, you know, replayability. Now, if the maps have replayability, it don't matter if they drop it early or later. And if you're just looking for zombies, I mean, it really don't matter if they drop it a week early or at launch, I guess, right? It'd be what it'd be. Now, the only thing that would be kind of pathetic is that if they drop early access without uh, with limited uh, limited stuff, and then they do, like, a full-on launch with full uh, and everything in it, it's not necessarily going to feel fresh, and people are going to complain about it. Hey, where's the game, man? Where's the full game? Where's the full game? That's it. That was it. That was it. You're going to hear people say, that was it. That was it. Because it usually happens with the betas for the multiplayer, right? Because usually whenever multiplayer betas come out, you experience mostly all the game in a limited capacity. But when the full game drops, it's just like two extra maps, you know, uh, ten extra weapons, and everybody's like... Bruh. That was it. <laughs> that was it. That was it. So I, I don't want the same being uh, true for the zombies. I, I hope either they do full launch of zombies early or they don't do it at all and just do it like day one when the game comes out. You feel what I'm saying? We're going to get two maps. I wish there were three. There were, th there were three maps. But if these two maps are actually very good with a tons of replay value and tons of replayability factor, then I, I think it would be good. I think it would be good. So far, the gameplay looking good, though. Like Google. zombie creators that were at Treyarch two weeks ago did actually ask the studio what was going on with early access and it sounds like at least as of now the answer is no it's not happening now is it possible here that they could just be telling them that it's not so that there's a bigger element of surprise at COD Next maybe, totally a possibility maybe, maybe. but if you ask me what I think I just don't think we are going to see Black Ops 6 Zombies early access I think there's a number of reasons as to why but if you also want to play around with this idea then taking a look at the recent blog post about COD Next it does mention there's gonna be several surprises during the broadcast and I do think one of those surprises is probably that Verdansk is gonna come back in 2025, but one of those surprises could still be zombies related. I mean, this is the first COD Next event where a new zombie experience is going to be playable in front of a big audience. So apart from multiplayer and some Warzone announcements, there could be more than just Liberty Falls gameplay shown. They could also make an announcement. Yeah, yeah what if they also, what if uh, alongside the multiplayer beta, they also do zombies beta and it's just like one game mode. I can see them do that. Some like new game mode, maybe perhaps a new game mode, not necessarily survival, survival. It, it remains to be seen, remains to be seen. But here's the thing though, if they really do zombies in multiplayer beta, then when the game comes out, people might be burnt out on it, right? If there's, especially if there's no new novelty, I guess the new novelty right now is going to be that new map. But if they reveal the, the second map as well fully, then be, because zombies works on the element of surprise, right? Because I've had, I have never, and we have never seen them release zombies gameplay this early. Never in the history of Call of Duty Zombies, they revealed uh, full-blown zombies, actual zombies gameplay, uncut zombies gameplay like this, uh, right? 20 minutes, 30 minutes gameplay they release and uh, yeah they don't do that necessarily ever so this time i guess they really had to because uh, you know call of duty sales are going down so they had to hype up the community because multiplayer is not necessarily hyping up everybody i've seen like everybody mostly everybody being positive about zombies right but for the campaign today people 50 50 multiplayer people 50 50 zombies people liking it so maybe they're gonna do it in beta maybe they're gonna do it in beta and never they have ever revealed full-blown gameplay because zombies works on novelty and surprise and they don't want zombies feeling kind of like they don't want people being burnt out on zombies right off the get-go 
And I don't want that factor. I really hope that's not the case. But we'll, we'll see. Remains to be seen. Remains to be about seen. About the zombies mode, such as an early access opportunity. But what I was getting to is that maybe early access for zombies is something that Treyarch is fully against. I mean, you can argue, oh, well, if they're showing gameplay at COD Next anyway, then why not let everybody play it a good week or two early? And I get that argument too, but maybe it does ruin the magic and mystery of zombies a little bit, right? That's I think something along the lines of Onslaught or even an LTM played on round based maps would make more sense as like a zombies beta or type of early access period instead of just giving players the full round based map, right? Yeah. Even without the yeah, Easter yeah, eggs, yeah. I still think that still does take away a little bit from the charm that that map could have when the entire world gets to play it at once on the real launch day. I'm also worried that if they did allow for zombies early access, I mean, they still might, by the way. It's not fully confirmed by Activision themselves yet. It's just, you know, the word of mouth from a content creator who I trust, by the way. I don't think Pizza would make that up at all. Now, if they did allow for early access to zombies, though, there's a huge chance that whatever build they release to the public a week or two early might have some spoilers in it for the actual main quest that may or may not be live during the early access. Yeah, that, that's the that's the entire point with early access for zombies, right? Like, I'm not against it, but it's like, if they're gonna do it in the multiplayer beta, then it's gonna ruin the element of surprise, right? But if they do it a week early, and they release, like, full zombies, full zombies, not, like, uh, limited time or, you know, half content in it, yeah, that, then, nah, don't do it, just release it fully a week early or at launch. That's where I'm at with it. Let me know your thoughts on uh, in the comments below. Check out this video on the screen. We got insane news, man. I'm not sure if you guys were able to catch this or not. We ended up getting like some GTA 6 gameplay leaks, some heist leaks as well. Yeah, shit's crazy. So check it out and I'll see you right there. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left.